Hey, how are you? We are back to share some exciting, exciting things going on, which isn't much. <laughs> we did get some pricing done today. Yeah. We went to the store. I did not record any of that trip, but we got a good idea as to how much our next couple of projects are going to cost and they are a lot less than we were expecting so that's exciting and that may be even less than that because we were looking at Lowe's and our neighbor told us to check out like one of the farm supply stores like uh, tractor supply said that they've got paint there a little cheaper than Lowe's and yeah, so we're not going to be spending as much as we thought on the first couple projects. So that's very, very exciting because we definitely are still struggling with getting this thing tagged. Money is always, always part of the equation. So trying to get projects and a large ticket item out of the way at the same time can be challenging. Yeah. However, still on track to still get this thing, hopefully about 50% done by the end of this year. So that's always good. We'll be living in it by spring. Oh, For, sure. For sure. For sure. For <laughs> sure. But uh, we're gonna show you guys, uh, we're just gonna do some more sticker peeling today. Pick your stealing. And we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, looking around, maybe doing some measurements and just doing some planning, uh, kind of trying to see exactly what we're going to be purchasing for our next projects. So, come along. Okay. <gasps> Look. Lizards, yeah, we got them everywhere. Lizard! Don't tell them. We're gonna take. Don't do it in the. Don't do it in the accent. It's called asphalt no, board. Stop. <laughs> it's a, a fibrous board made out of. Uh, I think it's pine or cedar, <laughs> and it's held together. <laughs> it's called asphalt board. Look it up online. And we're just gonna we're gonna take a layer of that for insulation and soundproofing, and do that straight on the bottom of the floor. And then uh, to go over that, we're just gonna take some like uh, quarter inch plywood and screw it straight into the floor so that we're not spending a crap ton on lumber, but we're also getting some insulation and like also something to like screw the walls into whenever we put the walls in. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, for all of our side walls, oh. <laughs> we're gonna use fiberglass insulation, like wall insulation, housing insulation. And uh, We've got a bunch of pallets here at work and I'm just going to do like slat walls for the sides and then probably paneling on the ceiling. But uh, today we're just peeling stickers. This, gr this grunt work is the hardest part. <laughs> like it's fun to plan and do all of that, but at the same time that it all takes work. None of this is really like...
So as you all can see, I'm gonna take a seat. Here is the cockpit and it's looking old and dusty. Now back here is where we have some plans to work on all the walls, the floor and the ceiling. We're not working on the ceiling just yet because we have a friend who knows an electrician. So we are going to wait um, until we can make an appointment with him and he's going to come and see if he can wire this bus for us. We're pretty stoked about that. Pretty stoked about getting these walls done as well. Um, like, as you can see, we have the metal panels still on our walls. The reason why that is, is because, uh, well, we just don't have any rust. We just, we haven't experienced any rust. Um, there is no rust underneath the paneling. Um, all of the insulation under the paneling is actually still in fairly good condition, but we are going to replace it. But we decided to leave the panels just for an extra layer of, like a, an extra barrier. And we plan to just build, um, some panels to go on top of those. So like with some um, pallet wood. And then the flooring, as we told you earlier, is going to be a fairly simple process as well. So yeah, we are getting there. Our next steps I'm hoping is to get that pew back there cut up. And with the pew, we want to use it for our countertop. So it's really long. I would say this this pew is over half of the size of the bus. So like, as you can see, there's the front pew back. So this pew is over half of the length of this bus. And I want to use this um, longer piece of wood here to turn that into a countertop or some kind of a desktop, basically one that would line the center of the bus here so we can use it as a table. Um, it'll probably be going on either this side or probably this side, I haven't decided. And then we're gonna also cut it up a little bit and try to turn this part into our countertops for our kitchen. 
So the back of that might be countertops for our bathroom as well. We wanna basically use this entire piece of wood to turn it into all of our wood that we're gonna need for countertops and uh, that kind of stuff. So, very exciting. How's it going, baby daddy? How's it going, dad? Almost done. Dad's almost done. You're way better at it than me. I tried. I just kept tearing. That's what she said. Will you keep it PG? <laughs> so yeah, we're out here peeling off these stickers. Um, I don't. Are we even gonna? We we didn't grab a ladder to get the stickers on top. I may be able to get them from the windows. Ah. We're gonna see. Stop talking when I start. Bus. Just ask Tom. <laughs> Chance is working on the stickers in the front. Bye.